All right, so we're back at it with cooking with Justin. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Tonight on the list, we are making quesadillas. So I do it a little bit different. I don't like how other people do it. When they do quesadillas, they usually do shredded chicken, which is pretty common anywhere you go in your quesadillas. What I like to do is I like to dice them up. I'm also gonna um, dice up the bacon a little bit. Then I'm gonna put it into my chopper here and I make it into a more of a fine ground, almost kind of like grounding the chicken and grounding the bacon. And my idea with it is, usually when you have the shredded chicken, like in normal quesadillas from people, usually you'll get a bite with with it pot, with the chicken in there, and some, you might get a bite without it. And I don't like that. I like getting chicken, the flavor and everything in every bite. So my idea is, I'm gonna ground up the chicken, I'm gonna ground up the bacon, and then I'm gonna put the cheese in the quesadilla, and then I'm gonna layer it on top of the cheese, and then my idea is as it's cooking, as it's cooking, uh, basically the chicken and the bacon go, and it kind of fuses with the cheese in a sense. And, and then when it's done, you, every bite should pretty much have the amazing flavor in it. And I think that's what a lot of the quesadillas lack nowadays. So let's get this chopped up a little bit. We can get it into the grinder here. Oh. getting it shredded, grounded up like that, which is awesome, because that is exactly how I want it. So let's get her going a little bit more. Let me make sure I put the lid on right. <laughs> so it doesn't come all blasting out at me. So let's give it a second. Real good. So then, see, and like I said, this is what I really love about it. It's more of a, it's more finer than what you're really used to. And like I said, as it's cooking in with the cheese and everything's melting, it's all kind of combining together. So every time you take a bite, it's just nothing but cheese. Uh, the chicken, the bacon, every, every bite should be just nothing but flavor, which is awesome. So, and now I'm going to get it pretty much dis dished up onto the shells. And then we're good to go. So I'll tune you guys back in when it's ready. So, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and throw the cheese in now, because I kind of want to give you guys a rough idea how this is gonna work. So I like throwing the cheese in like this. And then I will basically just grab the tasty bacon and the chicken. So look at that, look how it layers. Like I said, this is like perfect. So much better than what you get at restaurants and Taco Bell. <laughs> so, and then, so my idea is, so let me spread it out just a tiny bit more here. So, and look at, you can just see nothing but chicken and the bacon. Let me get a little more on there. What the hell? Look at that. So now, my idea was, this is another idea that I kind of came up with. Mind you, this whole process here was all my idea. So I am a literal sous chef. Um, <laughs> but my idea was, so not only am I doing this because to me it makes it more smoother to eat it makes it more enjoyable because you don't have the chewy pieces but also my idea was is i can crimp kind of like the edge of the shell here so then as it's kind of cooking you don't really lose too much of the cheese or i guess as much the idea is to not really lose any of it but you know nothing's perfect so i'll come over there let me show you so you can actually see it there we go so and then I'm kind of crimping it together. So hopefully it will hold at least a little bit better. Nothing's gonna be perfect, right? So, but yeah. So then, and then I will go ahead and then add this kind of to the George Foreman that I got right over here. Yeah, but I'm gonna make up a couple more and then I'm gonna throw them all on because we're having dinner tonight. All right, so we got them both crimped. And one of the things that I actually learned while doing this, see, even the chef still has things to learn. <laughs> Um, I actually got a little bowl of water and I wetened around the edges and it made for literally held it right in because I was noticing it wasn't holding very good and it holds it right in. So let's, but let's go ahead and get these on. Let's get it onto the foreman. So we'll put that one there. Uh, which way do we want the grill marks? Like this? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it like that. All right. So now we should just be able to let this cook for probably just a few minutes, honestly. Mm -hmm. And then we'll pull them out and... We'll see the results. 
<laughs> All right, so they're getting closer to being done. They're starting to brown. Obviously, the crimping can only do so much. It is oozing out a little bit. But at, basically, I'm going to finish cooking the rest of these because we ended up making five in total. And then I'm going to basically show you guys in the next clip the final product and how we kind of do it and like to eat it. So, All right. Looks like we're enjoying some good anime here. And now, honey, come over here. Mm. Let's eat this food. Now, obviously, as many of you know, especially if you know us personally, we like... All these ingredients are, are of the organic variety. But anyways, so we got the spicy ranch here, and then we got the chicken, bacon, cheesy quesadilla. Oh, snap. Mm. Oh, snap. Mm. Absolutely amazing. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a good day.